Welcome back to Factoria with me, JD, and we need to fix up stuff after our neighbor's visit. I came up here wondering why science was so slow, and um, the neighbors, like I said, they're not the type of neighbors you invite into the house. They, 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 they destroyed some things, as they do. Um, we're going to automate ammo in a... Well, actually, we're going to automate a few things. So, first off, part of military... Whichever one it was. Military 2? Military 2. We got armor-piercing ammo, which does 8 damage plus 1.6 physical damage. Uh, this does 6. So, it's pretty much awesome. Um... A little bit more damage, but not that hard to make, as we have copper and we have steel. So, we're going to... One, two, three. We're going to make three of these guys. We're going to drag our belts along. Uh, we're going to say, hey, you and you and you make armor-piercing ammo. Uh, it does take three seconds to make. So we can just use our slow inserters. We are out of splitters. Okay, I'm going to end up pooping again, I have a feeling. No. That's good. Uh, pop a splitter there. Take our copper line this way. Uh, actually, stop. Stop. We need to get three resources into this one. We need to get copper, plus we need to get standard ammo, which is right here. So we're going to remove that chest. We're going to take a belt. And we're going to merge these two belts together. Uh, like so. That'll put half on one side, half on the other. And then out of long-handed inserters now. We're going to put a long-handed there. And then wait for the others to craft. You can't have enough stuff. Uh, whilst we're at it, we will take our important things and fix up our, our toolbar. So we want belts, high priority. We use them a lot. We then want inserters. And then normally I'll put the red inserters, inserters here. Let's just cancel those three. Rebuild those three. Uh, I also want power poles. Uh, fast inserters. Thank you, research. Uh, both types of pipe. Uh, I want to build five of those. Uh, ten of those to get rid of them out of my toolbar. Uh, that's it for the moment. We we're not trying to perfect things, we're just trying to neaten up the toolbar, the tool belt just a little bit. Alright, put these on a belt. And then, same story, insert it takes off, puts in a chest. We want that many. Now, that's a good start. But I really think we can do better. I really think we should double our production. Uh, because, you know, why not? If we've got room to, and our production can keep up, we should. And I really think our production can keep up. Plus, I'm sort of sick of the neighbours visiting. Uh, we're out of wooden power poles, finally. Drag those along. We want inserted there, there, and there. We want a long-handed... There, uh, there, and there. I have a single wooden power pole. Done. Uh, chest. Slow inserter. To take out. Okay. We need an impenetrable wall. Now we can build walls. At least we should be able to build walls. Really? I haven't researched walls. 
Let's research some walls. Now we've got some brick. Uh, we can build walls. Walls take stone brick. We have some stone brick, but we're really lacking on stone. Uh, the good news is our diligent radars have found us some stone, but not a lot. And they are scanning very, very slowly. So we're going to do a few things. We're going to put down a few radars. Uh, not necessarily for... Nope. I am not crafting green circuits by hand. Uh, you can have a couple of wire. I'll have the green circuits. Um, not necessarily for more range, but for... Out of my way. But for faster scanning. Um, each one of these we put down... Scans one chunk every... However long it takes that for that little green bar to fill up. So, whoop! That's the neighbours again. Thank you. Uh, so, as I said, I'm going to put down a few of these. Just so there's more of them scanning. I'm also going to make another steel pickaxe before this one dies. In fact, I make them... Make six of them. Done. Uh, so now we've got armor piercing ammo. Uh, we're going to stop the neighbors visiting. We've got a bit of a, a bit of a base defense, um, but we need to upgrade it a lot. So let's take our belt of ammo and. You know, we could, we could, and I admit, it's, it depends on, on how you want to play the game. We, we could just manually dump a bunch of ammo in a bunch of gun turrets and, you know, leave it at that. But realistically, it, it, the game's Factorio. The idea is to automate everything. So, why in hell would you manually dump stuff in chests, you know, in, in gun turrets and have to deal with the joy of coming along and having to manually fill them up. Instead, we're going to automate it. We're going to put all the ammo on a belt. And we'll run the belt as far and as wide as we need to to give us a really good base defense. Um, it does mean that at, the, at one stage, or at some stage, we're going to have a stack of ammo sitting on belts. Doing a whole lot of nothing. Uh, but by the same token, you know, it, it's ammo. I'm, I'm pretty sure the neighbor's not going to go anywhere. We're going to end up using it eventually. Uh, power, power, power. Power, power. I think that's far enough north. Uh, although with the rule of Factorio, if you think it's good enough, uh, the rule is you need to double it and then add more. And then maybe you have enough then. Uh, that tree's in the way. You might say, hey, JD, there's no ammo left. Um, there is. It's just, it's it's getting here. Um, we've got three of these machines. They're producing one... Well, they're producing... With six of these machines, we're producing one per second, multiplied by the speed, crafting speed of the machine, which actually means we're only making... What's that point? One and a half. One and a half ammo per second. And each of these gun turrets will want 10 before the inserter stops moving. So, with that, at least that north side's covered. But I just looked at how much normal ammo I've got in my inventory. Uh, so we're going to, again, take this guy off. We're going to put the ammo in there. And put the ammo in there, because those machines will dump it back out to the network. We're going to double this again. Uh, there, there, there. 
Put that there. Uh, long handed out. Uh, and then we'll take a slow inserter with a steel chest and that one will cap. No, nope, they're dead. Uh, except this time we're not actually going to increase our input. I'm going to take a chest uh, that side because I want it to place on. No, hang on. Uh, iron chest, steel chest. I already made some steel chests. Right, let's use an iron chest. So I want it to place on that side of the belt. Uh, and I want a fast inserter to do this. And power. I'm going to dump all the ammo I don't want there. So the idea is if there's ever a gap, this guy will fill up the gap. No. Our standard little inserters are not fast enough. Well, there you go. We need fast inserters. That fixes the problem. Way more ammo on the belt now. Alright. Uh, how many gun turrets do I have on me? 40. We're going to pick up a heap more. Uh, gears. Sure, give me some gears. We need copper. Uh, 24. Now we need iron. Two hundred eight gears. Okay. Oh wow, that's some really dead power poles. Yeah. They're not the sort of neighbours you can invite over. That's for sure. Alright, so that should be hopefully enough gun turrets. Now just comes the giant, the, 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 the joyous job of making sure you get inserters before you run out to the wilderness, wilderness JD. Uh, and tick off something on research. None of it's really helpful. Uh, look, let's go with lab research speed too. to here. Yeah, let's go further north. It's not nearly far enough. Uh, so we want one there. One there. One there. One there. Bring the power along. Uh, bring the belt back. Get rid of the silly tree. And insert. Oh, one inserter. Don't need to go overboard and have two inserters. That'll just be. Uh, and then we're going to turn the belt. No, we're going to go up once more square. And then we're going to turn the belt. Now that means, because there's a corner, I want it doubly defended. So I'm going to put another gun turret here, because this now changes it to this direction. At the same time, I'm going to put inserters like this. Because they will grab from one another. Uh, and lastly, I'm going to put a radar right here. Because uh, there's a radar there, I'm going to double it again. Because like I said, fighters really are not fans of radar. I think it messes with their heads or something, you know, it throws off their navigation, I don't know. Uh, but they, they're not fans of it. Consequently, they like targeting radar. So, wherever you're putting down radar, generally make sure it's defended. Uh, punch a belt. Gun turret. 
Inside a gun turret. A nice little army right here. Hopefully they run straight past us. And there's a couple of their friends they've left behind. They got stuck on the hill. Uh, gun turret there. Really? Right between the power. Oh, well, I took out a gun turret. You little bastards. Hey! Alright. Problem is now I've got a cliff to contend with. Uh, now. Cliffs, we can't walk over. Biters can't walk over. Technically think of them as walls. They're walls with pretty graphics. Uh, but like a wall, you can underground. Um, it somewhat ruins the illusion of what they do, but you know, it, it still looks somewhat real to me. Uh, you know, it, it is a early, early interpretation of them. I imagine they will improve with version. 17 and 18 and whatever versions we have come after that. Oh, really? Okay. I'm going to have to go around the cliff. I'm going to put one there. Uh, power, power. Um, oh. See, this is how beautifully it works. Boom, dead. Uh, we are going to put down another radar. Right here. Because I want to have a continuous line of, of view all around the base. The other thing we're going to actually do is we're going to run our power back to base right now. Because at the moment we have one long daisy chain of power. So, if it gets cut and we don't find out about it straight away, there is a chance that all these gun turrets around the outside could run out of ammo and we'd have no idea. Which would be bad. Very, very bad. Uh, yeah, we've got plenty of re raw resources. Alright. There. Whoops. There. 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 Unfortunately, there is no faster way to get this done. It is about automation, aka once it's done, hopefully you never have to come back, apart from some routine maintenance of probably coming back and repairing things occasionally, or actually putting walls around, because uh, walls wouldn't hurt. Now we get to run back this direction. Uh, insert a insert. Too many inserters. Too many inserters again. Come on. Yeah. We just need to run faster. Unfortunately, the map gave us desert, which has a penalty to the running speed. So I apologize to everybody who thinks this is slow and tedious. Um, I agree with you. And blame it on map gen. Ah, uh, now that research is done. Um, options. Options are short. Right, let's get fluid handling. We're literally ticking off research 
The, the next one we really need is oil processing, uh, which unlocks blue science. Uh, okay, so we need a radar. Actually, we need a cooler. So let's run along our belts. We'll turn. Whoops. Hello, friends. No, nah, all the friends are dead. They just hate it when all their friends die. Uh, one there, one there, one there, one there. Turn that that way. Put one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Pick up power pole. Put down some ra a radar. Uh, and now we start heading south. No trees, get out of my way. Go away trees, go away trees, go away trees. Go away leftover tree. Belt. Oh, shit. Damn you, biters. Okay, I expanded too far, too fast. Need to bring gun turrets with me, or ammo with me. Some gun turrets were hurt, hurt in the making this episode. Well, I apologize. Uh, that one there, that one there. Did I just miss? I missed. Good one, Shady. Good one. Oh, uh, the pedipads. Now this has standard ammo in it, I'm going to pull it out. I'd much prefer to put armor pressing ammo. Um, but you know, in crisis times, use whatever you've got. Uh, use whatever friendship pellets you have on hand. To make new friends. stuff, gang. Oh, yeah, sure, we'll do landfill, just to tick it off. Oh no, they're moving, so they're alive. I thought there was a biter base right here. Um, you know, we do have biters behind us. That's something we're going to have to contend with. Uh... Hello. Hello. up to the right I want to shoot you manually and you uh, really uh, press Z to dump this stuff back on the belt okay where is our ammo Circuit network, sure. So to here, oh, it's right behind us, literally. All right, uh, we want. Uh, we're almost due for radar. Uh, one right about there. It looks like it's still actively aiming at something, but there's there's nothing there for it to aim at. Uh, repair it anyway. Okay, that's far enough. 
So we're going to take power back to base. Because, like I said, you want those redundant power lines just in case something goes wrong. Be it the biters do something or you accidentally count, cut a very important power pole. Because that happens. That definitely happens in the world of Factorio. Uh, and then we're going to put down some radars again. Uh, because I'm putting down a radar, I will double up right here. Alright, how is our ammo production coming? I'm looking, please, please base. We have a general not enough copper problem. Which is caused by not enough copper ore problem, which is right there. Let's go fix that. Let's go fix that. But that we will do in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. As always, we've covered the top half of the base at least. We have a nice secure north end and more friends to come visit and a nice bit of iron 1.3 million 3 million that's much more handy um, so now we're actually getting outside the early starting area we're starting to find some decent resources um, but I'm going to leave it here thank you guys for watching as always um, thoughts comments suggestions on the great wall of AP ammo um, as always down in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one thanks for watching bye